We were talking to Avinash, she's still with us. Uh, we have Swati Hotkar also now joining us. Swati, what's your view on IRB infrastructure? And Avinash, we're just discussing the fundamentals a while back. Can you just tell us what's your view on IRB infrastructure? Yeah, the view on the IRB infrastructure is being positive. The stock has just come up above its 200-day moving average, which comes to at around 250, uh, 225-odd levels. So the view is positive since the, after a long time back, the uh, particular the stock is managed to get back about 200-day moving average along with the volumes. The momentum indicators on the technical pa parameters are showing a positive crossover. So overall view is positive. This kind of a rally is likely to continue up to 245, 250-odd levels. So those who are having a long position into this particular counter definitely hold on maintain the profit stop loss of a 225 on a downside or upside is it has a potential to reach up to 245 to 50 all levels right but you would not recommend fresh buying at this level fresh buying i will suggest if it's coming down at near uh, 230 225 all level then once you take a uh, fresh buy call uh, on the downside so that the risk reward ratio will be in our favor as such because as of now we have seen a almost three percent rally on the upside so if if it's coming down at around 230 odd levels or say in between near to 230 to 230 25 in that range five rupees range then definitely once you take a buy call then they can go for a, a short term target of a 245 250 on the upside right uh, you know how would uh, you look at uh, something like a biocon that was an earlier name that we discussed it's had a phenomenal rally since the last results. Correct. Uh, on a weekly chart, it had shown a very spectacular good rally on the weekly parameters. So the overall, the larger degree itself is the positive, which indicates that it has a very good strength into these particular counters. It has a, a potential to come up to into the uh, four trading, uh, four digit range, that's up to the thousand levels. Also, it can touch the fit of that levels. So the, uh, fresh position will not be recommended at the current level, but on any dips towards uh, 850, 840 in that range, they can take a fresh buy calls into this particular counter. But those who already holding any long position, they can definitely hold on, maintain the, they can maintain the strict stop loss of a 840, 850 on a downside and they can hold this particular counter for a target of a 950, 2000 levels for the coming one month trading session as such. Right, but uh, the trend seems to be positive. Yes, the overall trend is totally positive into this particular counter. Right. Avinash, what's your view on Sun TV? It's down 4% uh, after the numbers. Uh, numbers were okay, they were not that great. But ad growth, I think, negative. That is something which the street has not taken positive. No, I think Pankaj, uh, numbers definitely were disappointing, especially from the ad uh, segment. And more importantly, you know, the stock had run up uh, before the results. So I think numbers definitely came in very uh, so disappointing. there was an expectation that, you know, the numbers... Were exactly. Good. So I think what we are seeing is basically the post-reaction of these results. And I think the stock had moved up significantly. So this profit booking is definitely desirable. And I think, you know, going forward, uh, one definitely would like to know what kind of growth numbers would come in on the advertising and the subscriber kind of base. Right, but uh, as of now, would you be in a hurry to buy? Because it's still one of the most cheap uh, media stock. I think clearly one uh, would be a little apprehensive, you know, considering that, you know, this stock has always been into some sort of uh, political controversies. And clearly, you know, uh, if one were to buy, I think I would prefer to wait for some more time rather than, you know, jumping the gun. Right. Uh, Swati, what's your view on uh, Sun TV? Yeah, correctly, uh, on a technical background, the stock was almost on the verge of its or near to the overbought zone as such is what entered into that level. And my RSI is showing exactly the uh, negative crossover from that level, which indicates that the profit booking is likely to continue from the current level. The profit looking uh, profit booking may take a stock towards 440 all levels. So up to that level, the selling pressure will likely to continue. So don't take any fresh long positions at this current level. But those who are definitely having a long position, they can book at least a partial profit at the uh, current levels. Right. Uh, as far as HPCL is concerned, any view? Uh, numbers come out today, now most likely post-market hours. HPCL, my sense is, I think, Pankaj, numbers would be definitely be strong. In fact, uh, this quarter we could see possibly, you know, GRMs possibly, you know, either uh, from the fourth quarter could be slightly marginally better. But I think going forward, you know, we have been hearing that there have been a uh, lot of, uh, you know, inventories which are floating in the system and a coming quarter could be quite challenging. But overall, I think HPCL would definitely show a decent set of numbers, the crude price fall plus the kind of uh, benefit in yields, especially in the, uh, the kind of volumes uh, growth which we have seen in the last three months should definitely result in an absolute growth in profit. And I think, uh, you know, the stock has already reflected that. So possibly some more commentary, some more volume growth kind of outlook from the management could possibly, you know, see the stock moving. Uh, 
Swati, just a quick uh, view on HPCL. Yeah, HPCL uh, currently is trading in a very tight range between uh, 1242 in between 1180 in the tight range. From the last two to three trading session, we have we have seen that the stock is facing a strong resistance of a 1240 on a closing basis. Unless and in, until it doesn't get a breakout of 1240 along with a decent volume, the upside movement has been restricted. So uh, at the current level, I will not suggest a fresh buy call, but definitely if it's giving a breakout of 1240, after a breakout, definitely one can take a buy call. Or else, if it's coming down, then yeah, one can take a buy a fresh buy call at around 1170 on the downside. But as of now, it is into the no trading zone as such. Swadhi, just stay on. Uh, Avinash request you to stay on about a minute remaining for markets to shut. HPCL on your screen is down about 2 odd percent. Markets are flat, but there is a negative bias of 40 points. SBI was the top gainer on Friday. It's down 1.6. BHEL up about a percent, 143, 144. Coal India up about 0.4, Bank of Baroda down about 1.5 odd percent. NDPC 2% decline, numbers came out during the 230 factor. Power Grid up about half a percent. Tata Steel up close to, down close to 1%, 387. Infosys down about 0.5. Sun Pharma down close to 2% or so, 768. Since morning, there has been some pressure onto this name. Tata Motors down about a percent, 504. Adani Ports 271. Tata Power 1% decline. BPCL 0.35% higher, 596. Bharti Infratel down 1%, 338. Yes Bank up about uh, half a percent, 1341. And ONGC down a percent, 239. HDFC Limited 0.6% uh, higher. Grasim was the top loser, down about 3 odd percent. Generally, it's been a very volatile counter, of course, because of the corporate action that we have seen into this name. But uh, even apart from that, there was a decline of 3 percent. Orbindo Pharma, 2.3 percent decline. 747 Ambuja Cement 270 2.3% decline Ambuja Cement 2.3% decline Lupin down about 2.2% 1540 for Lupin uh, Volumes on the counter were not higher than average but decent ACC down about 2% 1655 NTPC down close to about 2% 163 NTPC of course was a results reaction Sun Pharma down close to 2% 767 Tata, uh, Tata Consultancy Services, that is TCS, was down about 1.9. Ultratech was down 1.8 and Tata Motors DVR was down about 331.32. Hindalco down about uh, 156 to about 1.7% and SPI, as I told you, was among the top losers. Let's look at the broader market space and what happened uh, over there. Let's start with the gainers first. Uh, so, Subex Limited was up 7%. 18 million shares traded for Subex. Aptech Limited continues the good run, 13% higher. Uh, HOEC did well, so it was a name that was up around 8, 8 and a half odd percent and all these attracted a lot of volumes as well. Uh, as far as the top 200 gainers are concerned, overall reality since morning was up, it was up 5%, did very well throughout the day today. It was broadly based on results. IGL was up 5%, again that was a company that declared numbers during market hours, so it was up around 5%. Biocon did well, it was up around 4%. Volumes on Biocon were quite strong, about 2.3, 2.4 million shares traded uh, for Biocon. Looking in decently strong and off late has done very well as well. Castrol India, there was some sort of decline in the last few days. I think there was some buzz going around about a block in the market, but it's up, it was up 2% today. Maybe the block has, called, uh, has got called off. IRB infrastructure was up 2%, 235. Natco Pharma was up 2%, around the 655 mark. IRB Infra 2% higher, 2.4 million shares traded, was among one of the top gainers on Friday as well. Natco Pharma up close to 2 odd percent. Gru Finance is up about 1.15%, 331, 332. InfoEdge, there is an upgrade which is coming from CLSA, it was up around a percent. Idea Cellular up 1%, 94, 95. Pidilite did well, Bata did well, so most of these FMCG names uh, also did well. As far as losers are concerned, so 20% uh, lower circuit for Wellspun India, so that's down 20. Bharat Financial Inclusion down 5 and Sun TV was a results reaction. Fortis Healthcare, you heard the management, however, uh, you get a sense that markets may have not liked this deal or they were expecting a better deal, so that's why it was down close to about 3.5%. Avinash, any view on Wellspun India, 20% decline? Uh, Pankaj, I think clearly, uh, you know, this is a issue which I think the markets would be quite apprehensive because uh, one of the export uh, clients has actually, uh, you know, made a call that, you know, the kind of cotton they have used is actually inferior. 
and i think if uh, this order is cancelled you could see lot of earnings downgrades in fact uh, you know this is one of the first companies to actually get these kind of uh, warnings and these kind of uh, cancellation of orders and i think this 20% circuit will not go away in a hurry uh, clearly the markets are worried that if this happens then there could be a big loss in revenue as well as profits right and you know generally for a textile company you've not seen order cancellation because of quality especially from india no exactly in fact the quality of cotton used is now a question mark the company has ordered a audit but i think i find it quite surprising that you know the management uh, was not aware of this and clearly you know uh, this issue happening uh, you know all of a sudden not only the institutional investors but even hnis and even retail investors were obviously in for a negative surprise so i think uh, unless we get some clarity here the stock may continue its downward spiral for some few days right uh, but you would not be a buyer into this thing no i think definitely not i think not uh, very keen to you know enter at this level right how would you look at phoenix mill 4% higher today no i think phoenix uh, mill again pankaj is a, a play on uh, rentals as well as you know uh, you know the the property kind of market in fact they have definitely presented good numbers and our sense is that you know this is a kind of a steady kind of business model unlike the other real estate companies which have got a more volatile model the debt on the balance sheet is also reasonable so i would presume that you know uh, clearly if one has to take a long term view then this definitely fits in in the overall you know long term kind of uh, portfolio but overall you know how one has to keep a timeline of at least 12 to 18 months right but uh, again and buy on dips should be the strategy because the levels in the market the recent run up in most of these names are not that great no i think yes i think a buy on decline would be better because you know i think today other reality stocks like obrai reality after the numbers have shot up significantly i think here uh, clearly the kind of quality of uh, construction and the kind of pricing uh, obrai reality gets from its customers is quite commendable in fact their bombay property has got a very th- very sound response and i think that is what the market is now betting on these numbers would obviously get reflected in the coming quarters right uh, swati any view on hul and itc today both of these names did well Yeah, it's uh, and on the ITC part, we have seen a very good momentum in the last week, uh, before last to last week. As such, the stock has rallied from 245 to 255 to 260 all levels. But it's facing a strong resistance at uh, 260 on the higher levels. So unless and until we don't get clear clear of the resistance level at 260 all levels, the rally will not be coming to the picture as such. But downside, it has a good support at around 245 all levels. If the stock is coming down to at least 250 all levels, and definitely one take one can take a buy bet on that. levels maintaining a stop loss of a 245 for immediate target of a say 260 and 270 on the upside at such uh, take right uh, avinash uh, H- H- hul concern as right swati go ahead on hul Yeah, uh, taking into consideration the actual stock, this particular counter is really uh, looking very good at the current level as well. The stock has, uh, we have seen the some profit booking or say the selling pressures which has taken the stocks from 950 all levels to 900, and it has taken a support of a 50 days moving average. And again, we have seen us on turn up rally on the upper side as such. So even at the current level, the actual looks good. One can take a buy call, maintain the strict stop loss of a 900 on a downside. I believe it has a potential to reach up to 960, 970 on the higher levels. Right uh, Swati thank you so much for joining us this afternoon hope to see you again soon